Everybody. What's up guys, Cutting Whistler 5 here with an ABC deck profile. I haven't had an ABC deck profile on this channel yet, so I might as well just profile this bullshit for you people. We got the triple A, triple B, triple C. Um, yeah, one, two, three, ABC, you already know. We play triple gold gadget, double silver, double photon thrasher. I like this ratio a lot. Basically having eight enablers, in my opinion, is the right number. Um, so... Yeah, I decided to go with these ratios. I also play the uh, Rota. So it's basically like 3 plus 2 equals 5 plus 2 plus the Rota equals 8. And I really like Thrasher. Thrasher is definitely necessary because it gets over Kirin. But I don't like drawing multiples of these. Um, you rather draw multiples of these because you can just summon multiple off of each other. And I do play more gold than silver simply because it has a higher attack. So, really get oh, no, like it. so that's it for the monsters. Uh, I think 16 monsters. Pretty standard, no hand traps. Uh, I saved that for the side deck, but game one, you honestly just want to get the combo off as consistently as possible. So, yes. And then we got the uh, triple hanger, uh, triple terraforming, the uh, triple desires. Um, you can definitely play triple desires in this deck. Some decks you can't, but this one definitely you can because you play three of each letter, like as long as you can make buster, and activate desires, and draw into traps, it's just like instant win. So, yes. This deck is super ignorant. Uh, got triple twin twisties, twist the nipple. Basically for going second, um, going first is not too bad either. Two dark hole and a regeki. Uh, I guess this is one part that deviates my list from others. Um, I really like board clears uh, right now in this format because if you go second, like it's really, really hard to get over the soft locks uh, that people make and this basically just deals with it. So it's really, really good. And going first, it's actually not even too bad because you can just set it. Um, so it's not even too much of an issue as long as you can make buster. It's fine The reason these are so good against mirror match is because like usually it's really hard to get over a buster And people aren't tagging out anymore because no one really plays kaijus in the main deck clearing their board So, um, the buster can't banish key pieces and then after that you set your traps And then if you have like a D barrier, they can't make their buster next turn and then basically you just win So but yes, this is really really solid and also um, dark hole can be a combo piece Um, so you can make buster. So that's pretty good and then we got one ramen noodle. And then one Roto, which is basically like the uh, the eighth enabler. For the traps, we got the old man say no. Old man say no. Old man say no. So yeah, three old men that say no. So sexy. We got the Vanny's Emptiness, auto win. Uh, bottomless for Reflesia target. And double dimension barriers. Um, so yeah. I like this ratio. There are some decks that D barrier just isn't that amazing against, but against most of the meta, it's amazing. But against Mermails, for example, they can just play past this. So I like having um, like two strikes, two D barrier. Seems like a perfect number. For the extra deck, we got the triple Drachen Booster, the one Norden, the Suk, the Castell, double Diamond Direwolf. Uh, we got the Gear Gigant, Emerald, IB Dante. Uh, the Utopia package. I do play the Rhapsodies, really, really good in the mirror match, and the Rafflesia for the bottomless. So, yeah, that just makes your um, Insta Fusion's first turn like really, really good. For the side deck, we got our uh, Daily Dose of Genitalia, if you will. We got the sexy double Maximum Cock and double Retaliating Cock. So, yes. The Retaliating Cock is for the Shadow matchup because, you know, Winda is a hoe. So, yes. I'm just kidding. Um, it's basically for the Metaphor matchup. But in case you're kinky and you want to play Shadows, be my guest. Um, but I do have my Retaliating Cocks ready. So, yes. One Psycho Reader, just one because you can recycle it with Gigant. Um, we got the double typhoon, double anti spell fragrance. Got the pot of acquisitiveness. This is basically for mirror match. Um, it's pretty good. I just think it's not that amazing anymore because like no one really plays winter cherries anymore. But um, it's pretty good. Like when they try to tag out, you can chain it and do the dancing. Double book of eclipse. Now this is basically like the anti system down card, so it's really good. It also breaks soft lock boards, so we can do dance. And then lastly, triple system down. This card is insane. So, but yes. That's about it for my one, two, three, eight, BC, big boy deck profile. So, but yes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, honestly, not a huge fan of this deck. This deck is like super ignorant in my opinion and pretty linear. Not my play style exactly. Good thing Mermel is still doing dancing. So, this is not my main deck. But um, it is just a deck I play once in a while. Uh, it is a super, super strong deck, obviously. Probably one of the best decks of the format. Once in a while, just take a break from the Mermails, but um, obviously, Mermails, still my favorite deck. That's the deck I'm playing in this format, so but yes, hopefully a deck profile can come up soon. Once I can find my third freaking Aqua Spirit. Um, I don't know, I just can't find it, but, but yes. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Please like the video, do the dancing together, and peace.